complete chaos inside a fast food restaurant as angry customers trash the place. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at 10 times fast food Karen's faced justice. They're not documented. So my next call is to ICE to have each one of them kicked out of my country. For this list, we'll be looking at moments where irrational and entitled people let their toxic selves spew out in fast food places and restaurants only to experience some sweet, sweet karma. Have you bumped into a wild Karen at a fast food place? Let us know below. Thanos Karen Working one night in a McDonald's in Adelaide, Australia in late 2022, employees were probably hoping for an easy shift. Not on this 19-year-old's watch. Like Thanos, she decided to do it herself by going behind the counter and making a meal. Pleas from workers and customers to get her out were ignored as she went around taking things from the kitchen, even making herself a burger while yelling threats. Reportedly, the unnamed woman even lobbed a water bottle at someone. Unfortunately for her, just as she grabbed herself a sweet treat, the police arrived. They arrested her for disorderly behavior, property damage, and assault. Help soon arrives in the form of two star group police who'd been nearby at the time. Cookie demands. The argument was allegedly all over a cookie. Fast food places that have reward systems in place can be great for the customer, but it can be a nightmare for employees, as one group found out in February 2023. In Altamont Springs, Florida, 24-year-old Amari Hendricks went through a McDonald's drive through Instead of a simple transaction, Hendricks was furious to not be asked about the franchise's reward program. She apparently thought this meant she would get a free cookie. Even after getting the treat and yelling at the staff, Hendricks escalated the situation significantly by allegedly pulling out a firearm and pointing it at them. Employees that were there in the drive through were in fear. I mean, you can only imagine. I mean, it's, it's a handgun. It put anyone uh, most likely in fear. She then broke into the locked store and attacked an employee, leaving injuries. Hendricks was later arrested on several charges. Let's put her in the car. No, you don't have to put me in the car. Biscuit Bash If you've ever ordered from a fast food joint or a restaurant, sometimes items are going to be missed. Workers are human after all. Mistakes happen. But Belinda Miller didn't cope very well with the situation in February 2023 in Augusta, Georgia. After picking up her order, she was livid that Popeyes had forgotten to put in biscuits. So she called them and threatened to drive her car into the building. Yikes. Well, the staff gave her the missing item, only for Miller to make good on her threats anyway. She propelled her SUV right into the restaurant. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries. Miller then drove home, where she was arrested for first-degree criminal damage to property and aggravated assault. Not fast enough. I'm at McDonald's. I'm five months pregnant. These people don't know how to run a McDonald's. Fast food usually lives up to the name and is pretty quick, but things happen, and it can take a little longer. Well, that wasn't good enough for Tianis Jones in May 2022. Using the McDonald's drive through in Polk County, Florida, she was angry it took too long for her order. So the then five-month pregnant woman stormed inside. After yelling at staff, Jones threw a sign. She then walked behind the counter and chucked bottles and cups about, causing $100 worth of damage. No, come on. I want my money. They trying to, they trying to cheat me at my money. I want my money. She then left by twerking for some reason. Jones was arrested on numerous charges. The sheriff then had a press conference that got him into hot water when he referred to Jones as a McMess and a McNuts. In other words, if you can't do the McTime, don't do the McCrime. Fresh Kitchen Racism in 2018, a video of Aaron Schlossberg going on an unhinged racist rant went viral. He was apparently annoyed that staff at the Fresh Kitchen in Manhattan, New York, were speaking Spanish. Every person I listen to, he's spoken, he's spoken, she's speaking it, it's America. The lawyer, who has a history of iffy opinions, even bellowed he was going to call ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, on the employees and have them deported. 
Yikes. This is, this is, they're not documented. So my next call is to ICE to have each one of them kicked out of my country. But the backlash was near instant. Shortly after, a delightful protest took place outside Schlossberg's apartment that featured a mariachi band playing La Cucaracha. A mariachi band stood shoulder to shoulder, faced an Upper West Side condo, and belted out. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. The lawyer was also evicted from his office. In 2020, Schlossberg was slated in an appeals court for contesting the charges put forward by the Attorney Grievance Committee. Sauce Sabotage No one likes getting charged for extra sauce at a restaurant. It stinks, but sometimes it has to be done. But three women in July 2022 let their displeasure be known in the most over-the-top fashion. Complete chaos inside a fast food restaurant as angry customers trash the place. At a Bell Fries establishment in Manhattan, New York, the trio of Pearl Ozoria, Chitara Plansencia, and Tatiana Johnson went on a rampage. Watched on by a crowd of people, they destroyed equipment, pulled down the protection shield, jumped over the counter, and lobbed items at staff. At one point, they even leaped over the counter to continue their attack. All of this was for a $1.75 fee. Reportedly, they wrecked computers and cash registers during their rage, causing up to $20,000 worth of damage. Unsurprisingly, all three were arrested and charged with multiple offenses. To make sure something like this doesn't happen again, the owner has hired a security guard to work through the weekend that should give them some extra time to put new security measures inside. Smoothie Ken. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, it wasn't. We don't know who made it. We so. don't know who made it. In January 2022, James Iannazzo came home after visiting a Robex store in Fairfield, Connecticut, and handed his son a smoothie. Unfortunately, his son had an allergic reaction and was taken to the hospital. While he was okay, Ianazo wasn't. He returned to the store and launched into a racist rant at the teenage staff. However, Ianazo didn't tell them about the peanut allergy when he originally ordered the beverage. Like a grown-up, he even threw the smoothie at an employee. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Where is it? <laughs> oh, you're I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Ian Ozzo was arrested afterward and fired from his job at Merrill Lynch. He received a year of probation and was ordered to donate $500 to charity. Ian Ozzo later settled a lawsuit from one of the employees for $7,500. Ian Ozzo, who lost his job as a financial advisor for Merrill Lynch, says he deeply regrets his actions. Super Soul. As a manager at the Sol de Jalisco restaurant in Temple, Texas, Janelle Broland has likely dealt with a lot of nonsense, but probably nothing that comes close to this. In November 2021, Amanda Martinez complained to Broland about the soup she ordered. She claimed it was so hot that it melted the plastic lid. Martinez came back to the restaurant to continue her complaint, as seen on this surveillance video, pointing out the melted lid. She just still continued to yell, make a scene. Then after being threatened to leave or the cops will be called, like a completely rational person, Martinez threw the soup in Brolin's face before fleeing. My eyes were stinging so bad, they were burning, and the spices were all like inside of the top part of my nose and it caused me to have a nosebleed. Brolin described the experience as being pepper spray. Martinez was soon arrested for assault. In February 2023, she received a sentence of 15 months deferred adjudication and six days of jail work release, as well as an $800 fine and court costs. Restaurant Hate Crime Angelina Cando had an eventful few hours in February 2023. After scribbling graffiti on police cars and other public places, she decided to turn her wrath to the Little Prince in Manhattan, New York. Accused of defacing a first precinct NYPD cruiser Sunday night with the message, Jesus is King. With the restaurant supporting the LGBTQ plus community with a rainbow flag outside with the message, Make America Gay Again, she got out of her car and lit it ablaze. All of this was caught on CCTV. Whoops. The fire was noticed quickly by employees who called for firefighters. Firefighters extinguished those flames outside the Little Prince French Cafe before that fire could cause any real structural issues. While the fire was controlled, it left the property damaged. 
Kando was soon arrested for multiple hate crime charges. What we saw in that video was a hate crime, someone who intended to strike fear into our entire community. In her court hearing, Kando first ranted about her family before claiming the indictments were false accusations. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Bill Dodger to felon. Nicole, when you go to the Facebook page of the 28-year-old, you see an average person, a DJ, selling hair care products and posting photos of her favorite celebrities. But that is far from reality. In August 2022, Hand Bustami gained infamy for walking out of a Chili's restaurant at Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada without paying the bill. The police found her and received a mountain of abuse. Bustami threatened to spit on them, yelled that the cops were trying to assault her and that they had never seen anyone as pretty as her. This is Hen Bustami, who was arrested near baggage claim last week. Turns out she had an arrest warrant from Las Vegas Municipal Court. Bustami was uncooperative while being detained. This resulted in her arrest for misconduct. While she was awaiting her court date for the bill dodging, in October 2022, Bustami's life took a very dark turn. After calling emergency services, confessing what she did, and trying to go on the run, Bustami was arrested for the murder of her mother at their home. Police records showing officers were called there 12 times just this year, mostly for family disturbances. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.